Hi, this is Dave with a tutorial on what I call the hidden treasures of iMovie 09. And today's tutorial is on a little trick using the Ken Burns effect when you're making a slideshow. So um, to demonstrate what uh, the typical Ken Burns zoom effect does, here is how a little slideshow might look where I'm zooming in on a picture here. You can see that working and then it immediately dissolves into or transitions into the next picture. If you ever wanted to stop the zoom and just freeze it at the end so the viewer could maybe pick up some detail you wanted them to see. Well here's how to do it and let me show the end product. Here's the same little slideshow with uh, the zooming freezing at the end. Isn't that nifty? And uh, you can hold the zooming uh, for as long as you want that still to be there and then move on to the next slide. Okay, let's take a look at how you do this. It's fairly simple. First step is to copy the slide and we'll do that here and then paste it next to the original. Okay, now you have the original and the, and the copy. Go to the copy now and hit and highlight it and uh, hit the C key on your keyboard or whatever way you want to to get to the cropping um, tool. Now you'll see there that your end zoom is in red and um, that's the one you want to be frozen. But the way it works for whatever reason is that the, um, the, the zoom you want has to be in the start position. So just reverse it by clicking the little arrows there and now the start is where you were ending before and then click on crop and then done and you're done. Now back to the slideshow you don't want to have any transition between these two slides. So let's go back to the beginning and see how it looks with the frozen effect. Now you've probably already figured out that you could do the same thing at the front end of your slide by pasting the duplicate before your slide and then selecting the zoom position and cropping it so that the slide starts in a frozen position and then begins very smoothly into the zooming process from there on. And you've probably also figured out by now that you can use this little trick on the panning effect in Ken Burns. That's great for uh, a shot of a group of people where it's been taken a little too tightly and uh, it's hard to get everybody in the picture for your slideshow. So you can um, start at the beginning, freeze it, and then pan across the group slowly and freeze it at the end. Okay, I've made a little demonstration in the three slide show here. The center slide shows how the zoom effect can be done to freeze the zoom at the beginning and at the end of the zoom. So play around with it, have some fun, take a look at this and see what you think. So that's it. Uh, I hope this uh, will help and uh, stay tuned for more little treasures from iMovie09.